Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about learning a violin or starting to learn a violin as an adult. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Magdalena. I am a professional violinist. I work at the symphony orchestra here in America and I also, I'm also i also professor at the college. I teach a violin and I do have a countless amount of the private students that I teach here at home and as well as through the internet. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna talk about adult and if it's okay to start a violin or if it's not too late to start learning violin when you are, let's say, in your 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s. I had many adult students in my life that I actually started like with them from scratch. Like they have never ever touched the violin before. Um, some of them were there in their 30s, some of them were like maybe 20s and I even had some that were in their late 60s. So we're talking about a huge, you know, kind of range of age. And, you know, one thing you have to keep in mind, it is different to teach a five-year-old or six-year-old uh, versus 60 years old. So after teaching for so many years and so many different, you know, um, type of people in different age groups, I'm gonna tell you one thing, if you want to do it, it's never too late. So as an adult violin student, you need to know a couple of things. I'm gonna highlight, give you a couple of tips that you have to consider, okay? When you are thinking of starting a violin lessons and let's say on average you are in your 50s and um, that's what you always wanted to do all your life. You have to have a right set of mind. So don't be a harsh on yourself. That's the first thing. You have to have very reasonable expectations because if you start a violin at the age of five or six, it's not gonna be the same as you started on 50 or 60, but you're gonna have completely different experience and to be honest with you, you have a lot of advantage being older. You can take advantage of your life knowledge, you know, if you are in your 50s, 60s, or even a little, you know, younger, uh, versus the person who is just so young and is just starting to learn the violin. So once you make that big decision that this is what you want to do, maybe you are just retiring and you just have some extra time and that's what you want to do, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you find a very, a very good teacher. All teachers are not equal. There are great performers, there are great violinists um, who can never teach, okay? They can play beautifully, they are spectacular, brilliant, but they can never teach. There are amazing teachers who are not the greatest performers, but they have unbelievable amount of the knowledge but for some reason they can only teach little kids, you know, younger, younger children. With adults, they could not click at all. And there are also another teachers who can actually teach and communicate with adults as well as they can do with, with the children. So you have to really do your homework because there's a lot of teachers that would say, I only teach school kids. You basically need to do your homework and find someone that you're gonna click with. Someone who understands and who has reasonable goals for you and who's gonna fulfill, you know, your kind of a dream. Once you have your teacher that you picked and you really like and you clicked and, you know, things are going well, you need to set a reasonable goal. You need to be aware of it that most likely you will not be a concert violinist. You are not going to perform in Carnegie Hall. And that is just reality. With the music and especially the string instrument, it is with like with the sports. The sooner you start, the better you're gonna get. And the more chances you have of actually becoming a professional violinist. So you have to set a very reasonable goal. So yes you can learn and you can learn quite a bit but you might not be as brilliant as uh, perfect violinists you know with smooth sound and 
as let's say someone who've been playing since the age of five or six and for 20 years you know what i mean so you just have to set a very reasonable standard and don't beat yourself you know like just be very reasonable you can still play you can still do it but don't put yourself down if something is just not working the way you want or the way you imagined so i said earlier that you can take advantage of your age um for example when i and i teach both i teach little, little kids i te teach older people and um i have a completely different approach when i start with the six-year-old versus 60 years old i don't use the same books i don't use the same methods i i slightly alter to be honest with you every single person that i teach i have a very personal different connection and you have to alter your teaching skills obviously to every single person but it's a completely different set of set of mind when i teach little uh child versus a uh, more um you know grown up more mature person so take advantage of your knowledge little kids many times struggle you know things just doesn't work it out we as an adult we can kind of think about it all right like why is my hand going wrong direction why why, why is my bow is not why am i not maybe getting the best sound i you know i can you can just think about it and of course your teacher should kind of navigate you in the right direction but then you can use your life knowledge basically to help yourself and this is the advantage that you're gonna have as an adult that little kids don't have for you also as an adult it will be much faster learning you will be uh, going through those uh, you know problems a lot quicker than a little child because you can focus for a longer period of time just things get a little bit easier so with that being said I just want you to be aware that yes you can learn much quicker and use your life knowledge you know um, to help yourself but at the same time I need you to know that most likely you're not gonna sound as good and as smooth and as beautiful as a person let's say who started at the younger age and have been playing for longer this is playing violin and getting this good sound and this amazing technique just requires unfortunately to start very early on in order to be super professional super fluent and getting this beautiful sound and many times vibrato this is something that you know adult students struggle with many times and you know it's only because our hands bones just just get a little you know stiffer as we get older and if this is something new for us if that's something we haven't done for our entire life how are we supposed to be the same you know flexible as a little kid so those are the things that you just have to kind of consider when you're gonna learn but that doesn't mean that you cannot do it yes you can do it but at the same time you might not get to the level that you want to get or you would like to sound like you know if we sometimes listen to someone on the youtube and oh, i would like to play it it is actually a lot more difficult than, but at the same time it doesn't mean that you cannot do it you might not sound the same but yes you can do it and you can be very happy actually and you can enjoy it quite a bit um, my adult students once I you know teach them and I teach very classical style I teach them all the reading the notes um, you know proper fingering bow hold of course the violin hold all of it once they are quite um, you know fluent in the first position they like to i notice they enjoy playing duets so um think about it the violin playing the i think it's um scientifically proven that it's preventing from alzheimer disease i have um, my adult students who come to me once a week and for one hour we play duets and that's something that keeps you know your mind working your brain working you know at the same time fine motor skills you know because that's what you need when you do it violin and it, is it perfect no it's not perfect but this is something that they enjoy this is something that keeps them busy this is something they can keep them entertained and it's just fun you know it's just fun 
So set very reasonable goals and enjoy. This is the most important part. Once you, you know, know how to do it, once you know how it all works, just enjoy because that's basically, that's what it is all about. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're an adult who is thinking of starting violin and, you know, um, if that's something that you always wanted to do, I think you can go ahead and try it <laughs> but make sure that you start with finding a good teacher at first because i cannot stress enough how important it is to have a good knowledgeable teacher that you actually gonna you know like and you're gonna click with and you're gonna have a good um, relationship and you can just have a great time during your lessons Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want me to talk a little bit more about the subject of adult teaching. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.